in these problems we're using something called coordinate notation which I'm sure will become clear to you as we do it here so let's just get started it says write the translation of point P 2 comma negative 6 to point P prime 7 comma negative 10 in coordinate notation and if you look at the answers here you'll see this coordinate notation is all kind of the same you have this X Y and an arrow and then X plus or minus something and Y plus or minus something and what that plus or minus shows is just the change that's occurred so what's the change in the X coordinates here it goes from 2 to 7 well that's a plus 5 so we'd say X comma Y goes to X plus 5 comma and what's the change in the Y well negative 6 to negative 10 is minus 4 so that would be Y minus 4 and that would be our answer and it looks like C corresponds to that one let's try another this one's a little trickier it says which shows the proper coordinate notation for a rotation that is 90 degrees clockwise about the origin so let's think about this we're gonna rotate something about the origin clockwise 90 degrees so if we start with a point up here let's say point three one and we rotate it it's gonna end up being one comma negative three that's a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise so what happened here well we switched the X and the Y around and then we changed the sign of the Y so it went from X Y to Y comma negative X like that so that's what we're gonna look for here X Y becomes Y negative X and correct answer would be C there all right let's look at one more this one says which shows the proper coordinate notation for the reflection over the Y axis so let's think about that so Y axis is here let's say I have my same old point three one if we're gonna reflect it we're gonna get negative three one so what happened there well the X and the Y um, stayed in their X and Y positions but we just made the X coordinate negative so and here they're using J and K instead of X and Y so let's go ahead and do that J comma K goes to a negative J comma K don't let that confuse you it's just the same thing as X and Y they're just subbing in J for X and K for Y so let's see looks like that correct answer would be B so that's a little bit of practice with coordinate notation.